Hello, hello. This is Insurance Hour. I am your host, Carl Sussman. Thank you for being here. Phone lines are open, 559-656-0317. Send your questions in to questions at insurancehour.com. If you need help right away, you can also dial pound 250 from your cell phone, use the keyword insurance, and be transferred to somebody right away that can help you. Before the break, we were talking about insurance. I know, shocking. Before I jump on that and I go through the next step, which was how is insurance regulated, we did have an email come in that I wanted to answer and address the question on. I'll read it to you here. Please explain what I do when I'm looking to buy a house that is somewhere that nobody wants to insure. This is a tough one. If you think about it, if you're buying a house somewhere and there are no insurance companies that want to insure you there, it might, might, give you pause. Why is it that the insurance carriers are not looking to write insurance in that area? Keep in mind that there are situations going on right now where the insurance market is so tight in certain states that it's not necessarily that that particular location is bad. It might just be that insurance carriers are not writing policies or they've reached their maximum capacity for that period of time. So keeping that aside, if you're in an environment, you're in a state, you're in an area where the insurance market is thriving, there are lots of companies writing, there's lots of competition going on, and for some reason, the particular home you're looking to purchase, nobody wants to insure it. Take a pause and say to yourself, why? Remember, an insurance company innately wants to sell insurance. They want to be able to sell an insurance policy because that's how they make a living, right? They sell policies. If they're not looking to sell a policy to you, then there's a reason. Take a look, look at the area that you're in, look at the home, look at the condition, find out what the reasons are. If you're dealing with an independent broker, one of the advantages, you can go to that broker who might be telling you, hey, I can't find you a policy, and you can ask them, say, well, what is the insurance company saying? What is happening that's telling, that? what, what is it that they're kicking it back based on? Because they will tell you. They will tell the insurance broker, hey, we don't want to insure this location because of X, Y, and Z. Now, X, Y, and Z might be something you can deal with, might be a change you can make, it might not. If it's simply something you cannot change or are not interested or willing to change, then you have to look to what are called secondary markets. And secondary markets are what are called surplus insurance companies or non-admitted insurance companies. All that is are insurance carriers that are not specifically licensed to transact business in the state that you are in, that you're looking to purchase the policy in. It doesn't mean they're bad. It just means they are not licensed in that particular state. It gives them a little more flexibility in how they price their products. Not always a good thing, sometimes a good thing. And it gives them a little more flexibility on how they can underwrite and what type of products they have. Again, sometimes a good thing, sometimes not such a good thing. But the main point I want to make here for this person that sent in this question is, if a carrier doesn't want to insure it, maybe you don't want it. Just saying, there's a reason. The, I call them the big brands. There's a reason that the big brains are thinking that they do not want to insure that location, that house. Is it the condition of the house? Is it the age of the house? Is it the location of the house? Find out. That also reminds me, someone had sent a question in, I think a week or so ago, and they were asking, saying that they're having trouble getting insurance. Is it them or is it the car or is it the house? I don't remember which one it was. And I, I had a good time with that question because I realized that, well, it's a little bit of everything right? A good insurance company, a good underwriter, someone that's actually going through the process of underwriting. Underwriting, by the way, means they're going to look at all of this information. Like we talked about earlier, that's Lloyd's syndicate that would sit down and look at all of the characteristics of all of those buildings to decide if it was going to offer a policy or not. An underwriter has to look at as much information as they can, hopefully, and decide. If multiple carriers are saying no, then there's definitely something there you should be aware of. Now, if you still are unable to obtain a policy through the excess or surplus market, now you're going to take yet another pause and say to yourself, how badly do I want to be there, right? Because there's a concern. By this point, you definitely should know what it is that is keeping the insurance carriers from wanting to write insurance. If you don't, then stop again, find out. Find out what it is that the insurance carriers are not comfortable with that is preventing them from writing a policy for you. For example, if you're in the state of California, they have to tell you. They can't just say, nope, they have to tell you why. And again, if you're working with an independent agent or broker, they're, they're already talking to the carrier because they want to try and find coverage for you. That is their job. And they're going to find out what those reasons are. Sometimes they'll come back and they'll tell you straight out, look, 
the houses in an area that they think is just too dangerous. Or they'll come back and they'll say, the roof is you know, 40 years old. And you might say, but it's in good condition. It's still 40 years old, right? They don't want to deal with it. Maybe you don't either. Meaning, maybe if you're willing to put a new roof on the house, you'll be able to have a policy and multiple options, okay? Let's get back to our little history lesson, right? So we were talking about insurance and how it's regulated. So there was something that was passed in 1945. It was called the McCarran-Ferguson Act of 1945. And what it did was it confirmed that the government of the United States, the federal government does not, N-O-T, have jurisdiction over the regulation of insurance companies. The states do. Hmm, interesting. Is that good? Is that bad? Up to you. Let me give you some of the ramifications of that. What that means is every state has their own Department of Insurance. Every state has their own rules, their own guidelines. Every state has their own ability to regulate, to set guidelines, to set rules. I guess you can call them laws that insurance carriers need to follow if they're going to transact business in their state. If they don't, they become, what we mentioned now, a non-admitted company, meaning they are not willing to abide by the rules that that Department of Insurance is throwing at them. And they're saying, you know what? We don't want to play that game. We're going to write our own policies anyway, without your blessing, in essence. Most states, and again, this is up to the states, will have specific documentation that you must sign that says that you, as a consumer, understand you're purchasing insurance from a carrier that is not licensed in the state. There are a lot of reasons for this, but primarily the goal is to be sure you know that this company, for whatever reason, is not licensed, is not regulated, is not being monitored, is not a lot of things by that particular state's Department of Insurance. I know that sounds scary, and it is, and there are definitely some downsides, but it's not a death blow. It doesn't mean that the carrier must be garbage or that you absolutely should not go there. Take it for what it's worth. That just means you need to do a little bit more due diligence, a little bit more work to figure it out if it's going to be the right carrier for you. But the point is that the McCarran-Ferguson Act of 1945 said, okay, this is not a federal government thing. This is a state thing. So states, you decide how you want to deal with the situation of licensing and dealing with the insurance companies. Okay? After we come back from this break, we're going to talk a little bit more about it and how those regulations come down, who's in charge of them, how much say do we as consumers actually have. Don't forget to call in with your questions at 559-656-0317. Send them in to questions at insurancehour.com. And of course, grab your cell phone, dial pound 250, use the keyword insurance, get connected with an agent that can help you right away. This is Insurance Hour, and I am Carl Sussman. Thanks for watching. If you found this useful, please be sure to like and subscribe for more content. And don't forget, click here to watch the next video. This show is dedicated to Shamrock Papa.